Hello everyone, welcome to Tay Explain. I'm being helped out with my friend here, Ninja Star. Ninja, say hello. I'm being held hostage by Tay. How you doing? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about the new Smash clone. The Smash Killer, might I call it. Um, Nick, All-Stars, Brawl, Ultimate Melee... Super Brawl. It's the the, the Nickelodeon All Stars. That's what it's called. So I'm pretty hyped for this. What do you think about this, Ninja? You know, it was teased five years ago by Gabe Newell, so I'm pretty excited that it finally got shut off. <laughs> you know, I I'm surprised that uh, this game is even coming out to all platforms like this. I know we'll get into it later, but I was pretty excited about just the reveal for this game in general. It seems like uh, a lot of love is being poured into it so far, especially uh, nowadays when a lot of licensed games turn out to be crappy. Yeah, it does seem like we're in a kind of a new era where companies are actually beginning to somewhat try. They realize that if you make a bad game, people will probably won't buy it. Like, are we in the area where licensed games are actually going to become better than AAA games? <laughs> Maybe, that's what it seems to be, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so, I think one of the biggest things, the elephant in the room we gotta address when it comes to just the game in general, is the memes. Like, first and foremost, just, this game is just rich in meme content, because you gotta think, Nickelodeon has such a wide, rich history of just funny shows, and because of those shows, we get amazing memes like this, with, uh, <laughs> Squidward, like this right here, I love it. Oh hell nah. Squidward got the janky-ass hitbox. Like... Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite part is that they added a box specifically for his nose. That's yes, the best part of yes, me. just for his nose. That that's beautiful. I I can't get over that. And then like we got stuff over here, fanboy and chump chump. Well, look at these broken hit boxes. <laughs> like bro. I was gonna get patched ASAP. <laughs> what 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 was the common joke in like 2016? Better nerf Greninja. Well, have you seen Sandy's grab box? This character is busted. It is a really wide grab box. Oh, oh my goodness. And it's just, it just goes deeper and deeper. Just plankton. Look at that box. That grab. It, Mar Marth has nothing on this. I mean, here, you, you read this one. You read this one because it's so absurd. When you're trying to do the Krabby Patty combo on a Danny Phantom, but he keeps going Ghost Frame One. <laughs> and I just love how people are comparing this to Smash because I, I don't know. It's just it's just amazing in my opinion. <laughs> Carl Final <laughs> Smash. <laughs> he, traps, uh, not... he, he traps you in a jar and just completely destroys you. Or feels no, it's not okay. <laughs> it's very okay for Carl. Oh no. <laughs> I, oh, I love this one. Uh, XJ9. <laughs> Come on, Mom. I at least need an 8-way eight eight -way air dash and decent zoning tools. And Mom's like, nope. Uh, you can have Pac-Man's equivalent of, of zoning moves. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, though, but the thing is that, like, some of these characters are really action-oriented. So if we did say, if we did see Jenny in here, like, there is a ton of potential. There is actually a good amount of characters that could like work surprisingly well for what is going for. like not every single character is like a giant meme. True, true. Yeah, a lot of characters are, are decent. Um I, I love this one right here. Smash Bros has Master Hand, so you already know who's gonna show up at the end of Nickelodeon All Stars. Master Foot! Still the Nickelodeon right feet! I still can't believe that they made the logo of Foot. <laughs> I, I think we all know who's <laughs> responsible for that choice. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> Drake Bell! <laughs> it's like, the meta SpongeBob just reports Drake Bell. Ah, I got him. GG's. Yeah, that, that foul smash is broken. Bro. Honestly. Uh, I love this one. Just Patrick edge guarding a Zim. <laughs> ah, I got him. <laughs> GG's. I like this one a lot because this could like actually be a move and it would make sense within the game. <laughs> Th that would make sense. You Neutron up smash <laughs> the pie! The freaking pie! Squid remains after missing putting a laggy F smash instead of a quick F tone allowing, 
allowing Nigel Thornberry to wave dash grab, down throw, up smash, punish him! Um, I think it's good to talk about who's making the game in the first place. Uh, I believe it's pronounced, uh, Ludosity? Uh, kind of like Hydrosity. I almost said Ludio City, but it's, it's Ludosity. <laughs> um, they're, they are the makers of, uh, Slap City. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I have never really played Slap City, but I heard it's a really good... Like, Steam gave it a 10 out of 10. That's that's something for a good game. And Slap City, I heard, is more of like a melee clone. Uh, have you ever played Slap City before? I have not. I didn't I even not. know it existed until I, the game got announced. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I feel pretty bad that I've never played Slap City, and I've never really heard of actually any of uh, Ludosity's games. But, you know, now that because of all these memes, I actually might try out Slap City really soon. It, I'll actually try it out because it, I heard it's really good. I mean, Ian Hungrybox gave it a really high rating. He said it's the best melee clip. So if a, if a pro player like that um, has a, a, a keeps it in high regard like that, then I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, they yeah. seem like some really good devs and a really nice team. Uh, I did want to talk about the history of Nick Brawl. Uh, because Nick Brawl, obviously, it isn't just a one-off game like I thought it was. Nick Brawl has a rich history. It's been around for quite a while. Um, l let me just go into, uh... So it started with a game called Jingle Brawl. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I, I played the heck out of at least one of these. I don't remember specifically which one. I think it was Super Brawl 2, but I, I used to play this a lot back in, like, middle school. <laughs> um, I thought we should talk about the, um... Uh the devs on rollback uh and i mean well let, let's just talk about what the devs have implemented in some of the special features so members of the official server uh for the devs that uh, make these games they uh they release some uh they release some information about how the game's gonna play so uh Ninja, do you want to talk about some of the things that they decided to add? I, know, I think literally the first thing they confirmed when people started asking about it was the inclusion of wave dashing. I'm pretty sure that was literally the first thing we knew <laughs> after it got announced. And the funny thing is that wave Which dashing is, is a lot. but it's actual technical fighting game uh, strats that are pretty cool. And they yeah, said, so having that in the game is like an actually good feature. Yeah, and if it's implemented really well, I could really see this being played at a crazy high level. High at a high level, I can see the skill ceiling going insane. Like, imagine Smash um, Nickelodeon All Stars at Evo. Like, just let's funny, just imagine that might that. actually happen. Th that could, th but that's the best part. If this game is uh, that good, it could happen. Yeah, ev everything that's being memed about could just become reality very quickly, <laughs> which um, is kind of amazing. Yeah, and let's also talk about how there's also GameCube adapter support. I mean. What other dev goes the extra mile to say, hey, we're gonna make a game that's like Smash, and you know what? Let's just throw in support for these, for for something that probably I'd say only 10% of people getting this game will actually use. Because let's, let's be real. Yeah, like a 20 year old controller. Yeah, a 20, yeah, support for a 20 year old controller for a niche game that is really intended towards just, I would say, younger kids, but these devs actually put care into it to make it, you know, for everyone. It's being supported on all platforms. And here, I'm going to show on screen just a list of all these things that uh, they pulled off of the Discord. Um, so it's not going to play just like Slap City, obviously. Um, you know, they did a lot to make the game its own entity. So there's going to be a moveset editor. Um, it's less tech heavy, but there's going to be a, the gameplay is going to be faster, which is really cool. Air grabs. Uh, it's just insane I, what i find interesting is that uh you can make lobbies private and competitive uh something that smash doesn't do very well at i mean nobody wanted uh for, remember the whole for fun versus for, for glory and now they don't have that now now you're just placing anyone and you have to deal with quick play yeah i mean that honestly that was a good system i don't know what i removed it yeah it was good that, like for, for fun for glory if you're that just wanted to play Smash for fun, bam! If you wanted to, you know, you want if you took your Smash seriously, get competitive. But no, they mixed it all together. So now you could literally be playing against an eight-year-old that just likes to spam, <laughs> or, or just do uh, what is it, taunt dancing the whole time. 
Oh, I love that. Um, Honestly, I, I think my favorite detail from the screenshots that you showed was the fact that they, that like the the publishers, like keeping a, they said like they're keeping a lid on the characters. Yes, they're, so they're trying to do like a Smash Bros. So here it is. Yeah, publishers keeping a lid on the characters, and obviously the, um, you know, uh, Nick and the other companies that are you know, working with them had to have final say. But I'm I'm interested. What if one day Nickelodeon does a Nick Direct, and it just opens up, and you see a character opening the door? It's like Shrek or something. <laughs> yeah, you're like Nick Direct, and then you just see the cut in the screen, and then you see Shrek kick the door open, and bam, Shrek confirmed for all stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it it doesn't get any better than that. Um, let's also talk about some other things the devs added in. That's uh. Uh, pretty interesting. For instance, uh, the implementation, the implementation of rollback, of <laughs> of rollback. Um, so, do you? Uh, I, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this? I don't know if you know too much about rollback, but uh, I don't really know that much about rollback. All I know is that it's really good compared to uh, normal. Yes. You know. So rollback, um, and I got a little clip here from a uh, news article. It's the best possible uh, network for fighting games. What it basically does is that um, when you put in your inputs, and let's say there's like some network or delay, or whatever, it it rolls back the game and puts in those inputs. So instead of dropping them, or you just lose them due to lag or something, the game remembers what you press, and it plays them back anyway. And it, and it basically, it makes online playing a lot smoother. And, the, and that's why, and that's why it's such a big deal, because Smash is an, is an insanely popular game, and Nintendo hasn't implemented rollback. I don't think I've seen a game with worse online than, like, Brawl or Smash Ultimate, mm -hmm. <laughs> honestly. Uh, man, don't even get me started on that. Uh, let's talk about those, uh, character reviews. So, we know we're getting our basic characters, like, uh, we got the Spongebob gang, Spongebob gang for instance. We got our, uh, you know, um, Spongebob, uh, Sandy Cheeks, Patrick, and all that, um, was there anyone notable in the uh, Was there anyone notable in the trailer you saw that interest you? I thought just Nigel Formberry was a really funny meme pick that I wouldn't have expected, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, Nigel. Formberry like that was clearly added just for like you know. Yeah, for laughs. Um. Right. Like, like if you asked me the day before. If they were gonna add, like, if you said, like, okay, what if they're making a Smash Bros. clone with Nickelodeon characters, who are you gonna add? Who are they gonna add? I would never ever guess Nigel Formberry, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I know, and it's so funny because it's like he is a, quite the iconic father for um that for the show. Um, wow, well, why can't I remember the name of the show? I'm stupid, but you know, I I know the show. I watched it a lot when I was a kid. But either way, he is pretty iconic for a father. Uh. I, I'm surprised that they have him something and could, could we get Stu Pickles <laughs> from Rook? I mean, I know they I know they confirmed Reptar, <laughs> but come on, if you're gonna put in, are you if you're gonna put in the fathers, the fathers, iconic fathers in the Nick show, uh, sh show off. Uh, look, look, yeah, we got Reptar over here. Come on, I, I, I want to see some Stu Pickles, Hugh Neutron. Like guys, t take my money, I, I, give me Hugh Neutron. This, this guy is clearly OP. Everyone wants him. He, like, he, it got to the point where he was trending. He was trending on Twitter. Because, I mean, and honestly, I mean, as a character... Yeah, he, he'll one, you need <laughs> Yes, yes! <laughs> um, so I thought we should just speculate a bit about who, um, you know, characters we want and what might show up in this game. I mean, what are you expecting from this? Knowing the developers, knowing Nickelodeon's rich history, characters what, what do you what do you expect from this game? well if we're ignoring memes for a second i would want a character like tack from you know tack and the power juju saying that it is owned by nickelodeon and it is a video game character i feel like that would make a lot of sense to be added into the game you know maybe just to like you know auto from rocket power or something like but if i want to get into like real like meme territory where i'm like it's like if I wanted to pick my hand into a grab bag of characters and add, like, if you said, 
literally any Nick character, I would probably say someone like Ned Bigby or something. Ned Bigby! <laughs> Ned's the classified oh school survival guide. Ne oh! That would be my pick. Yo, I completely forgot about that show. And that show was my childhood. I remember, I, I grew up watching that with my mother. And the funny part was that I was around that, I was around Ned's age when the show was being aired. So it was extremely relatable. And without a nostalgic overload, because I could talk forever about my favorite Nick shows. Yeah, that would be funny to have him in there. Now, I don't know how, considering, I mean, Ned is obviously no longer a child. So unless you want to take some funky PNGs of him and throw him in the game, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> They would probably just do what they did with most characters and just make like a weird CG version. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, probably. no, no more CG. No more CG. <laughs> Alright, so let me talk about the characters I want. I want Bessie from uh, Mighty B. Bessie Higginbottom from Mighty B. Um, other than being just a great show, uh, I mean, I'll put some stuff up on screen. Obviously, she's got potential. Uh, easily S tier. I mean, she's going places. Uh, the Penguins from the Penguins of Madagascar. Uh, they were awesome in the movie, but also their own show. Uh, I actually, I put up a little meme before. I, I compared them. I said, you know, these guys can easily be uh, like the, the speed, shield, jump, and, and bruiser version. They could, they could be like, um, they could be like Shulk. <laughs> and you could swap out between the Penguins freely. Uh, we got Yakety Yak. I don't know if anyone remembers that show. Uh, we got Norman Daggett from Angry Beavers, and obviously, the main man, Hugh Neutron. Oh. Um, who, who are you looking forward to? I know you already said Tag. I wouldn't even be surprised if he, if he gets... Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would not be surprised if Hugh Neutron gets added, like, later, like, after the game comes out, just as, like, a meme, because so many people request it. <laughs> you know what, true, and if they do, and I highly think they will do add DLC, hopefully no paid DLC from the beginning, but like if they do continue to support the game and they have a decent amount of DLC, I could see this game easily becoming more than just a meme and actually becoming something formidable to Smash, maybe. Because you gotta think, Smash is nice, but Smash is I mean, that'd be kind of funny. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I was just gonna say, it would be super funny if like Smash gets actual competition from a Nickelodeon <laughs> Smash was closed. Because you gotta think, that's just... Smash is only on is only is only a Nintendo game. It's only on the Switch, which limits its potential. Yes. Versus Nickelodeon All Stars, which is being released released on all platforms. That means more people will be able to check out this game. And people are much more familiar with cartoon characters than video game characters. Dare I say? Because you know a lot of people grow up watching cartoons. Um. Even in places where video games aren't accessible, a lot of people know who SpongeBob is. They know who these classic Nick characters are. So it's going to be exciting to see uh, what happens of this. And if it does beat Smash, I'm going to laugh. And, and, you know, hopefully, if this game does become successful and it does have a great meta, I could honestly see Nintendo be like, oh, wow, we got to step up our game. We can't let this ripoff beat us. <laughs> um... <laughs> So to end that, it off... That, that's uh, how Smash becomes good again. Yeah, yeah. So to end it off, um, I want to say, did you have any closing thoughts or anything else you were thinking about this game that you might want to say before we uh, end off the video? I would just say, I'm more, I'm more surprised they waited this long to do it, honestly, over anything else. Yeah, but you so know what? They had I... the whole... No, go ahead. I'm still listening. Nah, you go first. Uh, I was just saying, like, well, I was trying to agree with you. They, I, I am glad they waited this long. I know it took a while, but when you think about it, this game came out at the perfect time. Because a lot of games in years past don't really have the right polish, and I'm glad that the right developers were chosen to make this game. So I feel like it's going to be really successful. I, I'm, I'm actually excited. I do plan on picking this up. Pretty much as long as it is, like, as long as, long as it plays pretty good, I feel like it'll sell much better than the other clones did, just because there's at least like some amount of authenticity to it, you know? Yep, that is true. But yeah, I, I, I would definitely be buying this game as well, for sure. <laughs> and uh, and to end the and then to end this video off, uh, don't forget, if you're gonna play the game, 
to do it with the SpongeBob GameCube controller. I need to buy one of those before they become extinct. <laughs> Honestly. Well, with that, everyone, thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Tay Explain for more things gaming and meme related. I'm your host, Tay. Oh, yeah. This is my friend, Ninja. And we will see you. Stay tuned. In the next uh, one. I was going to say. Spout it out. Say it. Say it. Okay. Stay tuned for our 12 hour analysis on the first frame of the video. Yes.